Hi everybody, it's Matt here from pianoblog.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about generating a mental image of whatever you're practicing, a sound image. And a lot of people don't do this when they practice. What they do is they'll play something and then they'll hear a wrong note and then they'll try it again they'll hear a wrong note. And a much better mental uh, pattern to try to learn is how to get the sound of what you want in your head try to create that and then see how the recreation went and so you get kind of this cycle of feedback going where you have a sound that you want you try to create that in your playing and then you recalibrate so that's really the most effective practice uh, that i found but to do that you have to learn how to actually create a, a sound in your head and some people are more naturally adept at this than others there are some people who are blessed with really natural inner ears where they can just close their eyes and hear an entire symphony orchestra and then there are some people who are more like me who had to really learn how to do this uh, and the way that I learned how to do this was simply by closing my eyes and trying to picture the sound of a very short fragment, a very little bit of a piece in my head. Uh, and at first, I was not able to do this. It took me a long time until I guess my brain sort of figured out what the heck I wanted. So you can do this at whatever level you're at, and I'm going to just demonstrate how, how to do it here. So uh, hopefully everyone can see the piano from where I am. So let's say you're just starting out at the piano and you have, you're just playing maybe a five finger pattern, uh, something like this. All right, so it's, this is something that you can do within the first week or two probably of playing the piano. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close my eyes and actually try and visualize that sound in my head. You won't be able to see anything. This won't be very interesting, but I promise I'm doing it. Now I've heard it in my head. I'm going to try and recreate it down here. And then I'll listen to that, see what I thought of it, where there may be any accents that I didn't like, and I'll do it again. So let's say that I hear it in my head one way, like this. But then when I go to play it, I hear this with like a big accent in the middle. Then I'll recalibrate. Okay, my third finger, I need that needs to be a little lighter. You see? So that's a kind of a simple example, but the point is I'm not just playing and then reacting to that. I have a sound in my head uh, of what I want, a concept in my head of what I want, and then I'm recalibrating based on that and if it's hard for you to hear something in your head that's okay it was for me at first uh, just like some people have a hard time visualizing something uh, physically some people have a hard time visualizing sound in their head so you can it takes some time but if you just keep trying with a very small fragment you'll get better and better at being able to visualize sound in your head and then trying to recreate that at the piano uh, and then uh, recalibrating based on what you heard. Now, this can take all sorts of dimensions just in terms of the level of detail. So when you're just starting out at the piano, the level of detail is probably going to be just a wrong note. Like if you're playing the five finger pattern and you have, uh, right, you're going to hear, oh, okay, that note was wrong. And that might be the level of detail uh, in terms of comparing what's in your head versus what comes out of the piano. As you get more advanced, the level of detail is going to not only be correct notes, but whether you accented a certain note, whether you want something loud or something softer. But it's always that same process, right? It's always from the very beginning through extremely advanced professional pianist. It's always the same process of having the concept in your head and then trying to to produce that at the piano and then recalibrating and adjusting and just getting that circle of feedback going. The difference between the beginner and the person who's really advanced is that the person who's really advanced is concerned with a lot more nuance. Just like in uh, you know the visual arts, uh, if you're a child, it's gonna be a stick figure um, and versus you know like a Van Gogh or someone uh, up on the uh, up on the upper levels of the visual arts it with the piano it's the same thing the the concept of what you what you want and what you're trying to create is just going to have a lot more nuance at those upper levels 
So something more advanced might be like if I was trying to uh, practice the first couple measures of this of this Rachmaninoff, for example, uh, there's this um... And maybe I want to do a swell at the beginning and then come down from that swell so I hear in my head And then I play Right and there might be small little details there that I then I can recalibrate so maybe I I have uh, uh, I didn't like spending so much time on that very first note No, I didn't like that You see now I heard that and I'm adjusting to what's in my head you get the picture So there's always kind of this cycle of feedback going and it doesn't matter whether you're playing a five finger pattern or some Rachmaninoff, it's always that same sort of thing. So if you're not in the habit of trying to visualize sound before you play and then comparing what you're doing, it's a good habit to start right away. And if you're just beginning, don't think that it's too early to do that. In fact, it's the best time to do that because you'll start to reinforce that pattern of practice. Uh, but if you haven't done that and you're more advanced, it's gonna take a little more self-control. You'll have to pull back a little bit uh, and really make yourself do it, but it will pay off if you can do it. So this is Matt McLaughlin at Piano Blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel a lot. And also, if you're interested in uh, any sort of piano courses, I have free beginner piano lessons as well as uh, piano technique courses for free on Piano Blog. Dot com. I'll link to those below. So uh, like and subscribe. I put videos out very frequently here and would love to see you again. And check out pianoblog.com if you're interested in any of those free courses. I'll see y'all next time.